be in, in the house of the Lord one more time. We thank God for you, those of you viewing in. Thank God for the few that was here. We really appreciate the Lord for keeping us another day, for staying us, waking up this morning, clothing us in our right mind. You know, we got a lot to give God thanks for. We're just making provision for us. A lot of people didn't make it, but I thank God for he have given us a mind to cleave to him, Brother Clarence, just acknowledge him and confess him. You know, we want to give him thanks. We want to bow before him always and give him recognition. You know, this is another good day that the Lord have gave us, a blessed day that the Lord have given us. And we want to give him all praise and all honor for it. We want to let him know we really appreciate him. Thank God, you know, we could be like that, sit up there and watch him, but I thank God. Man, he saw fit for us to be, not to be in that shape, in that position. That God will just um, be mindful of his people. And I pray God be mindful of the people, wherever they may be. That God will be mindful. And we're going to go in prayer. We appreciate you. We're going to pray for a minute and ask God if he would bless the service. And we're going to talk to you for a few minutes. Holy Father of heaven, Lord, I thank you today. And I appreciate you, Jesus, for being God. Thank you for watching over your people. Got move for those and deliver those. Now some is in the hospital today. We pray, God, that you be with them. Bring them out of there, Lord, I pray. Be, keep your hand about them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I be this God, Lord, that we read about in the Bible. Oh, this God that we've been taught, Lord, over the years, Lord. Be this God. You told us you were the same today, yesterday, and forever, that you didn't change. Father, now we need a God that don't change but now. We need an unchangeable God that to watch over your word, Lord, that honors your word. Father, be this God for us in this time. God, we can't make without you. Lord, there's no hope out there besides you. So, God, we're asking you, Lord, to remember your word, remember your promise. And God, to be our protector, to be our strength. Be our everything, God, we need you. We can't run this old journey by ourselves. We can't make this journey. Lord, by ourselves, we got to have help from you, Lord. We're in a time now, Lord, in a greater time. God, we really, really need you. And I'm asking you, Jesus, let us find favor with you. I pray open up our eyes and open up our heart. God, help us to realize, help us to see, God, that it's going to take you in this time. God, don't let our eyes be shut, closed, Lord, and going on about our bidding and, Lord, acknowledging, not acknowledging you. We ask you, Lord, that you would just, Lord, help those that man is locked up somewhere else. God, their eyes is shut. Lord, they can't see you, can't acknowledge you. Oh, God, help us today, I pray. Speak to our hearts today, Lord. Give us utterance to, Lord, to speak you. We ask it, Lord, heal the sick today. God, there be among us. Lord, deliver the bound. In the name of Jesus, God, move for our nation. Our nation is in a, really in a mess right now. And God, we ask you to move for our nation if you can. Raise up a stand in some kind of way, Lord. I, oh, don't let this old nation, let this be in your will. Turn into chaos, Lord. And, oh, some talking about another civil war. And, because God, you spoke to us years and years ago about this old spirit that's going to rise up, Lord. A, a civil war spirit and a a racial war spirit that years, 30, 40 years ago, God, you told us this. Jesus, keep us in this hour. I pray, watch over your people. Have you kept the children of Israel in the camp of Goshen? Or in the land of Egypt, God, you kept those. Father, keep us. You had told us, Lord, a few years ago, six, seven years ago, Father, that you've been bringing all the scriptures, you're gathering all the scriptures. All that you have spoken, God, you say you begin to gather it in. Lord, I know all this stuff that's happening has come to pass. God, you're gathering in the scripture, Lord, because of your, you, 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 you don't tarry. Lord, you're soon to come. We don't know how long that is, but God, and you have to bring in these scriptures. And I thank you. Remember your people, Jesus. I pray every one of them everywhere. Remember the strong. Remember the weak, God. Remember those, Lord, that's got a mind that's trying. Remember them, God, and help them. And, Lord, we give you thanks for it. In the name of Jesus, look upon your ministers everywhere. God bless them, sustain them. Give them that mind to just hold on to you and cleave to you. 
and we will thank you. In Jesus' name, praise God. Give him a hand and pray. We appreciate the Lord today. We thank God for those you together here. We appreciate the Lord for keeping us. We're going to let Sister Dale give us songs and testimony. She likes to insist the sights. Probably appreciate Run, run. Thank God you had learned how to operate that thing, huh? Praise the Lord. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. My son about that. Appreciate all your brother Clint. We appreciate your prayers. Continue to keep us in prayer and be praying for Sam, husband. Um, he's in the hospital, you know. And so just keep him up in prayer too. Thank God. How many know that devil's on a rampage? Yes, yes, so we, we need the blood of Jesus to keep us and sustain us, don't we? Amen. Praise Amen. God. So, sister, there. Praise the Lord. I shall not, I shall not I be moved. moved. Yes. I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree. That's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not. That's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Friends may come and friends may go. I shall not be moved. Friends may come, friends may go. Be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved on my way to glory. I shall not be moved on my way to glory. I shall not be moved. I'm on my way to glory. I shall not. Oh, thank you, Father. I'm on my way to glory. I I'm like a tree that's planted by the water. I should not be moved. Jesus is my captain. I shall not be moved. Jesus is my captain. I as like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Praise the Lord. Shall not be moved. Thank God we got to have our mind made, but shall be. Friend may come to the sight and friend may go, but we shall not be moved. We've got to have our mind made up that we ain't going nowhere. Yes. Thank you. Even in these trying time and testing time. Yes, have our mind made. God, we ain't going nowhere. Yes. Praise the Lord. We appreciate the Lord. Thank God. We're going to have Sister Sites come around and give us a testimony. She likes. Thank God. Thank the Lord for being here. We appreciate yes. the Lord for being here. Appreciate Praise the Lord, Lord for the open door. Just appreciate God for Jesus. And yes. All of what he's doing, you know, there's so much going on, but I'm just still relying and 
looking to Jesus. I appreciate it for my health, my strength, yes. food, clothing, shelter, my transportation, my job, just and most of all, salvation. I just thank God for he's just so good. You know, I was just thinking yesterday when I was at my, at my job, I said, God is good. I said, but somebody might say, but. Mm -hmm. But God is still good. Yes. But God is still good. God is good. He's good. What else? Good. You can't say anything about him. He's just good all by himself. Don't need no help. You know, and I just appreciate him so much. And last week I was, uh, Saturday, after I left church, I went to the store. And I was talking to this man. I had the derby hat on. He said, oh, I'm going to get me a derby. He was talking about the hat. That was, then we just went on to talk about the Lord. He said his wife was in the hospital. And I said, well, just let me pray with you. And I did. I prayed with him. He said, thank you so much. He said, I knew it was something about you. Praise and so he said, I pay for her stuff. So he paid for my groceries. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I appreciate God for Jesus. Yes. You know, and I was thinking God can do anything he wants. If he wants you to be a millionaire, he can make you that. He can have you to find the money, whatever he wants. He got it for you, you know. And I appreciate the Lord so much, even on my job. It's been people that I, I work with, their relatives yeah. and friends. One, I know y'all saw it on the news, this young girl that jumped off the bridge with her baby. She's related to a guy I worked there with. Another lady that I worked there with, her auntie used to work with the same lady, too. She shot and killed herself. You know, just so much going on. But with all of this going on, yes. Jesus yes. is still in control. Still in control. Jesus is still in the healing business, still in the healing delivering business. business, saving business. He's still here to help us. You know, and I appreciate him so much for this word because if it wasn't what for this word for me, I wouldn't even make it. I couldn't make it. Gotta have you know, because I think about me being saved Gotta have and, and knowing Jesus, just the people that don't. You know, don't know him. And I'm saying, I go through different things in my mind and in my spirit, too. Yes. And I know Jesus. Yes. So I can just imagine if people don't have no conscience of him to All help right, them. Yes. You know, so I just appreciate the Lord for this word, how it's keeping me. And even on my job, the lady didn't speak to me. And I kept speaking to her, still speak to her. But I appreciate the Lord so much that I don't have anything in my heart. Right, That's going to make you feel so good right, that you still can do the right thing yes, and you ain't yes. got no arterial motive behind it. I appreciate the Lord so much. I can see what he's doing on the inside of me. The Lord wants us making us like him. Like and him. we can't make ourselves. It takes the Lord takes to make Lord. us. He knows what it takes to, to make us. You know, and I appreciate him. Even I didn't tell her nothing but the truth. I said, baby, we can't, we can't hug here. Y'all need to stop hugging. You get written up for hugging. You know, I hug everybody. If they see me on camera, it's all right. I just hug everybody. So the man that she was hugging, he had a little smart attitude, too, so I didn't mind. I said, well, y'all just keep on hugging me. And I just walked out on the way. And after this, she stopped speaking to me. But it's all right. It's all right. It is, it's, it's all right. All right. Yes. Because I appreciate the Lord, like I've heard. Yes. You say, we got to have something on the inside of us. Inside of you. And having something on the inside of us, with, like Jesus, yes. it makes a difference. Yes. You know, because if not, you can say, you can do revenge, you can try to pay back, you can try to talk about him and all that. I ain't got nothing to say about nobody. Amen. I'm at the mercy of God. Right. Like the rich man, the poor man, everybody else. We're all in the same boat, and we're all fighting the same devil. It ain't no different devil. Yes. So I appreciate the Lord for this word because it is a comforter. It's a lead. It's a guide. It's a word that will keep you, and it's a word that comes to help us. And I appreciate the Lord so much that he's doing something on the inside of me, even with, 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 with regular family members, people you see in the store, and they have different attitudes. Yes. I don't have the same attitude, especially, you know, sometimes if they white, they try to bump into you, stuff like that. I mean, like, don't be bumping into me now. Yes. But I appreciate the Lord. I don't do that no more. Yes. You know, I just go on. Yes. Because when they, if, if, if white, anybody who's ignorant, they just ignorant. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Because we all came from the same source. Yes. We all came from one blood. Yes, you did. know, and I appreciate the Lord for letting me know that in my heart, not that I like what I see, mm -hmm. how they treat black people, but I still know we came from one blood. From one and blood. I appreciate the Lord. He said, vengeance is his. He know how to repay. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Praise the Lord. We all made of one blood. Yeah. You know, Jesus ain't got no difference, but it's just one blood. Yeah. Thank God that we really came from Adam. From Adam. But we're going to have that. That's why Jesus tells us, sisters, like to count up this cost. See if we win the pay the price, because that's a price to be paid. I was praying for somebody yesterday, and I said, God, uh, I just help them to know that they're going to fight these things. They're going to go through these. This is a ministry. This prayer is a ministry. I said, help them, you, you make us minister. Help them know that these things out there, you're going to go. Well, if we're going to be ministers of God or children of God, say, we get ready because we're going to go through these things. 
See, so we can't we can't get a bad spirit. We can't get a wrong spirit. We got to try to keep the mind of God somewhere. We're gonna go through. Maybe get ready. You're gonna you're gonna go through some tests and try. We're gonna be made. God's gonna make us. He's gonna mold. He's gonna see what we are made of. And he can't do it by letting everything come our way that we like. He ain't going to let that adversary rise up against you. Let you go through some hard times sometimes just to see what you're made of. See what your heart is. See do you love him. Are you willing to go with him? I mean, we just got to count this cost of Brother Clem. He said, God, I'm willing to go. You know, I'm willing to go. You know, we may well make up our mind. God just help us. And that's why God helped me to push. Help me to push. Give me that kind of mind. So say, well, I just got I'm, go, I'm going. I'm willing to go. I'm willing yeah. to just. And I'm talking about you know my spirit. Yeah. We got to get rid of, fight against that old spirit. Get a bad spirit, try to come in on it, fight against that spirit. Yeah. Don't receive that spirit. Recognize it. I know the number of the spirit that they recognize that spirit and turn away from it. You know, that's what God wants us to do. You yeah. don't want to sit around and say who's right and who's wrong. Man, get that spirit away from you. Yeah. Well, Lord, I know I'm right, but don't make no difference who's right. Jesus was right, but he was crucified, wasn't he? He was a beat up, spit on, called devil and everything else. You know he was right. So that don't make no difference about who's right. Jesus got the last say so. He said, vengeance belongs to me, and I'm going to pay. And that's the truth, and I believe that. I appreciate God for you. Thank God for you. Those of you viewing and those that you are here, that be a God of mind and just continue to hold on. I mean, no, this is a, this is a time we just got to have our mind made. We're going to fight. We're going to fight this good fight of faith. We just ain't going to give up. We, giving up can't be in our vocabulary. That word can't be in our colla- colla- uh, vocabulary, sister. Dale is giving up. Yes, got to fight through every trial, through every test, through every situation. We got to have our mind. God, I am holding on the best of my ability. Yes, best of my ability with my eyes looking to you. Yes, and this is what we got to do, folks. Thank and I appreciate the Lord for helping us. Yes, truly, all of us going through some stuff. Yes, all us going through some stuff, and I know I am. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Now, I thank God I met you yesterday. I told my daughter, I said, yesterday was our anniversary. It would have been our 50th anniversary. Mm-hmm. You know, in the 8th of January. And, I, and ironically, I think this word you use, ironically, sisters, yeah. it was the 8th. It was on a Friday. And when we got married in 1971, 8th of January, it was on a Friday. I said, Lord, I said, look, that 50-year anniversary would be on a, on a Friday. Yes. I said, Lord, I said, I wish, I wish you were still here. Yes. Celebrate that 50, 50, 50th anniversary. Yes. And I thought, and I talked to my daughter, I told her, you know, it's kind of uh, ironic that it's on a, on a Friday, too. We got married on a Friday, and the 50th yes. anniversary is on a Friday, the 8th yes. on a Friday, yes. you know. I said, Lord, thank you. you know, then, then you know your, your memory started running back, you know. But I appreciate the Lord. I tell you, thank God for giving us a mind to, you know, I appreciate Sister Austin. You know, she was, I tell God every day, Lord, I thank you for the years that you blessed me with her. And I tell me that every day, you know. I'm telling you something. They got old saying, you don't miss your water till your well run dry. I know that's a very true statement. Very true statement, man. You may think you can make it without that water. You let it run dry. Let the well run dry. Thank God, I tell you, you <laughs> and that well run dry. I tell you, Brother Clint, let me tell you something. You don't miss that water till the well run dry. You know? And I thank God that the years he gave us, I was telling my daughter, I put up some of us, some of us off some wigs. I know that woman had so many wigs. I already threw some away about a year ago, man. I went, yesterday I got to go through that stuff, man. Two more drawers full of wigs. I just I said, let me get rid of some of this stuff, but. And I appreciate her, you know. Amen. I appreciate the Lord for, for those years, you know. You know, you know. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes. I encourage you today to hold on. Be encouraged. You know. I don't care what fight you got to fight, fight it. Because there's a payday coming. There is a payday coming. So like we're going to go through stuff. We're going to fight bad. But there is a payday. There's a payday coming after a while. So, Durant, you sang that song, Serving the Lord going to pay off after a while. Keep on working day by day. What is right? Jesus said he will pay. Yes. That's the truth down there. Jesus is going to pay whatever is right. Yes. You ain't never got to worry about that. He's going to pay. Look from the book of Matthew 24. I be reading verse 1 through 14. I think. Now at least some familiar scripture here. We're going to keep uh, Sandra Hudson up in prayer. 
So you know, he, uh, he's uh, in the hospital. A little COVID. That's God help us. You know all this stuff that's going on up there, in, up there in Washington, in the capital. That's God. I mean, I got a feeling something's gonna break out. Like, cause I pray another son. That's God. I knew they would have kind of meeting on the six. That's got it. Sustain this stuff. Turn this devil around up there. And man, they didn't went in there. And, cause you saw them do. Went that man and broke all into the in the capital. Man, said, man, this is such sort a of disgrace, America. Broke in there, man, you know, and tanned up stuff. And, you know? And, uh, and, uh, now the whole, all, the whole world is looking on us. Y'all supposed to be this. They look at us like hypocrites now. Y'all supposed to be this and supposed to be that. And look what y'all, y'all always trying to come over in our country and tell us what to do, what not to do. Look at, look at you now. I said, God, if you can do something about this stuff, do something about it, you know? But if he spoke all this stuff, Run, run, it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Matthew 24, and verses 1. This, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came unto him, came to him for, to, to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And I forgot what year that happened, but it, that you know, the temple destroyed because they had put out that, that temple, Sister Psyche. I read, and I've forgotten most of it now. They had uh, uh, built that temple upon gold, the foundation of gold. And that's what the word that was out. When they built that temple, they built it upon gold. And uh, of course, Jesus knowing all this, you know, but it wasn't gold. But they got in and they. It, it, they tore every brick down, but they didn't find no gold. But cause that's why Jesus ain't one stone we left on that. He knew they were going to destroy that temple. And they went in there, and, um, and that's how that temple got destroyed. That's when they destroyed it. Looking for that gold foundation, but it wasn't no gold foundation. But Jesus knew he's man, ain't one stone will be left upon another. It ain't going to be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the ends of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. You know, we still got to take heed right now. Yes. I'm praying, ask God, God help me. I need to put the rest in the gold. You know, you know and the Bible says, He that considered the poor. As God help us, because we have been considering the poor now since the site we are praying about a, 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 a work, a ministry that's winning soul, that's going over. You know, we know what we can do. Much like ministry that's going over in other countries and winning souls. You know, where that, that the people give, you know, it won't be in vain. It's got to. Right. Yes, yes. We'll be able to reap the harvest. You know, I said, God help me. And I've been searching for the kind of men that we use in fire, you know, but, you know, I just ain't found it. So, as God, I hope you understand. You help me out there because I believe we are to win souls. I believe we are to feed into a ministry that's winning souls. You know, that are winning souls. He said, Acts, and I give you the heathen for thine inheritance. And as God help us, as God, you know, this is my desire. You said that you raise them up on this bed of language. You make all this bed in this sickness. If we consider the poor. We need to be in a place where God will make up our make our bed. And help us. You know, as God, you help us get in that place. And God will honor his word. He said he would. He honor his word. Listen. And Jesus answered unto them, take heed that no man to see you. But many shall come. And maybe we got so many people out there today. Then at a Oh, my God, man, the woods are full of them. Yeah. They run in pack like dogs. Yeah. You know, we got to take heed that no man deceive us. Yeah. We got to read. We got to pray. We got to have a, a right spirit. So God, give me a right spirit. Give me a, a, a clean heart. Help me to know you. Help me to know your truth. Lead me and guide me. If I don't know it, God, help me to know it. Teach it to me. Thank God that I... To the day I pray, I said, God, teach me your spirit. Teach me your way. I'm not getting it here saying I know this and know that. I said, God, you got to teach me. You got to help me. But, Brother Clarence, I don't know stuff. God has to help me. 
He said, take heed that you be not deceived. We got some deceivers out there that was not your bone deceive you. I mean, they know how to speak God. They know how to say stuff. And they were to see you. We, that's why we got to stay before Jesus and ask him, God, you lead and guide him. You direct me. We can't get him to be, I don't care what position we have, what type we have. We can't get him to say, well, I'm this and I know this. And I'm, no, we, no, none of them know nothing. Yes. Jesus got to direct us. We got to pray that he would direct us and help us. Yes. You know, that's God you direct. Many false prophets. Tell you that no man to see you. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And shall. Now, this is what Jesus said here, ain't it? Many will come in my name and, and do what? Deceive what? Many. Many. That's exactly what is happening and what's going to happen because Jesus has spoken this. Many shall come in my name. Because sister say, man, that devil know we love the name of Jesus. No, we acknowledge the name of Jesus. Man, no, we take heed to the name of Jesus. The Bible says many are going to come in his name and going to deceive many. Using the name of Jesus and going to deceive many. This is the truth. It's happening. It's going to continue to happen. He's going to take the name of Jesus and going to deceive many people. Yes, Jesus don't lie, sister death. That's what we got to we got to keep ourselves at the mercies of Jesus. That Jesus have mercy upon and help us. Help us. You know, the Bible tells us that it's probably there's a way that seems right. Yes. Not a man, but the end of our hood is the ways of death. All the ways of a man is right in his own eyes. Yes. Thank God we may think we're right. may feel like right. may even like you feel like you're right. Everything may fit like it right, but Bible said, man, <laughs> it could be the ways of death. Yes, so we got to ask Jesus. The Bible says, many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. We got to stay at Jesus' feet and ask him to direct us and help us and learn him. Not knowing everything, but ask him to help us. That's what I do. I say, God, I can't make this journey by myself. I don't know what way to go. I don't know what direction to go. I don't know what way to turn. I need you to help me. I need you to guide me. Depending upon you. Thank God, Lord. I appreciate this work you give us. Look at I, I look to you. Amen. I gotta have him just dead. I gotta have Jesus direct me because man, I just don't know. Somebody, man, you up there say you don't know. Yes, I say. I'd rather say I don't know and don't know than to say I do know and don't know. Right. Or to even to deceive my own self. So the devil can help you to deceive yourself. Amen. Yeah. Amen, he can make you think you know when you don't know. He can make you think you're walking in the right place, uh, uh, run, run, and when you're not walking in the right place. Thank God we got to stay before the Lord and say, God, have me and help me, lead and guide me. You told us as many as are led by your spirit, they are your son, so we need to be led by you. Man, this ain't no, this, man, look at this. This is a Jesus work. It ain't, uh, ain't about us, ain't about our name, ain't about how we are. Thank, it's us to be. Ask Jesus for direction. If we're going to be workers, serving of God, we got to ask him for his, his uh, direction, for his guidance. Now we are trying to work for you. We need you to guide us. Yes, Lord. Ain't about making no big name. People know who y'all are. Forget about that stuff. God, we are supposed to be serving the God. Yes. We are supposed to be trying to help God's people, yes. feed God's sheep, yes. and we need the leading of the Holy Ghost to help us. Yes. Oh, leading of the Holy Ghost to help us. Yes, Lord. I got you help me. Oh, I don't mind telling me, I said, God, I'm working for you, trying to work for you, so I need you to help me. He don't want. For men shall come my name, and saying I'm Christ, shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end, what? Is not yet. He said, the end ain't yet. Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be a famine, pestilence, ain't we having them? Earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. The Bible says all of these. And we'll see anything come to pass. The Bible says that all these things are the beginning. These are the beginning of sorrow. Not the end of it. These are just the beginning of sorrow. Man, we got to man, submit ourselves to God. We got to say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Help me. Cover me in your blood. Keep me. Direct me. Because these things. And the Bible tells us in one scripture. Listen here. Except those days be what? Short. No flesh going to be saved, but the very elect saved. I'm going to shorten those days. It turns right here. Then right here, thank God that these are what? The beginning of sorrows. 
That sister, sister Sight, that lets us know, man, it's worse of days ahead. Worse of days ahead. And he said, man, if it were ever possible, they would deceive the very late. But for the elect's sake, I'm going to show need they tell us these are the beginning of the That's it. Man, we got to good about loans that God take us through. Don't you sustain us. You strengthen us. Get us prepared. Get us ready. Especially our mind. Get our mind. If we can get our mind in line with God, I think our body can go through. Because with the mind, run, run. If our mind ain't, ain't locked into Jesus, thank God. You know, if your mind, ain't nothing that they ever do. Or he may, he may uh, vex your body, that's all right. But if that mind, you know, he, he vexed Job. But he never got hold of Job's mind. So he didn't accomplish nothing. Down there, you know, you know, Job used to offer up sacrifice every day. Get him off of a sacrifice, 10 kids. Job would offer up 10 sacrifices every day. The Bible said every day he would get up and offer a sacrifice for, his, for each one of his kids, yes, 10 kids. Yes. Oh, Job would offer up 10 animals mm -hmm. every day. Yes. Just in case his kids yes. sin somewhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And then when, the, when, when God let the devil come in and attack them, so the, the, the first thing that devil attacked was his animals, all his livestock. Mm -hmm. Got rid of everything down there that he would offer up to God for a sacrifice for his sin. Never got nothing, took that away first. Took away the sacrifice first. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't have nothing to offer up to God for his, for his sons, you know. Yeah. And then he got around to Job. But he never got around to Job's mind. Yeah. Paul said, with the mind, I serve God. Yeah. If we can keep this mind locked in on Jesus, Jesus help us. Make no difference what come. A goal. If our mind, so there we just gotta some kind of way strive, some kind of way pray, some kind of way figure out. Thank God, down there, how are we gonna cleave to Jesus? And God, you help me. Yes. I want to cleave to you. Make no difference what we're going through. I want to cleave to you. Yes. Ask him to help you. Don't be, don't be ashamed of begging. I, I beg God. I, I don't mind begging God. I heard some people say, God didn't make a beg out of me. Well, don't beg me. Let me beg. Let me beg. If I ain't got what I need, I'm gonna continue to beg. I'm going to continue to be. You know? The Bible says, who knows what he'll turn? Amen. Repent and leave a blessing. Amen. Listen. Nature rise against nature, the kingdom, the kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake and die plague. These are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate man. We want to keep that spirit away from us. Because so Jesus is coming. Yes. We're going to offend one another. Thank God we're going to betray one another. And that spirit is coming. We got to keep our, the Bible says for us to examine ourselves. Then. Examine ourselves to see where we're at. Yes. Stand God on our heart and see. Because yes, the Bible said that thank God we're going to, be a, we're going to betray one another. Yes. Men are going to be offended and going to betray one another. And he ain't talking about uh, 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 the world of people. The world of people, they betray one another. They, they ain't got no standards, no way. That, that's in their, what's called, repertoire. To betray and to look out for themselves like Trump. Trump it ain't about Trump. Trump ain't interested. But now he's running scared now, ain't he? He's hiding out. Yeah. But, uh, I guess he thought it went in. He thought they're going to always be in that position. You know, he thought, man, they love me so. Man, his own people just turned against him. They should have recognized that from the beginning. But, but with the mind, we're going to betray the Bible and then the spirit is going to come up on the world that people are going to hate one another. They're going to betray one another. And we, gotta be, we never recognize those spirits like that. Like you say in sister society. Thank God, you know, you, they may bump them to you, say stuff to you on your job. Look, don't let those spirits get in there make you hate somebody. Yeah. Make you betray one another. Because it's coming, sister. Matter of fact, it's out there now, but it's going to get strong. The Bible says these are the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Never bring up any little thing and make you want to hate them. One another, make you want to, and have you betray him. Man, have you seen you right with a bunch, thank God, that a, that a man trying to it, uh, betray their brother and sister and helped you join right in with them. Yes, yes. 
They'll start digging up stuff, man, that they've done to you and said to you, and all that stuff will be forgotten about. All that stuff will be forgiven. And they start bringing that stuff and let you drain right in. We got to stand God on our heart. We got to examine ourselves to see where we're at. Thank God. The Bible says, I don't know if I got it written down. No, I didn't write it down. But the Bible says in, in uh, Psalm 15, who shall buy now in tabernacle? Who shall dwell now in holy hill? He that walked up right, working right, and what, and speak the truth in his heart. And went on down there and said, and he that uh, keep his word to his own hurt. In other words, Sister Day, if I promise you something, and thank God that I get to play well, well, I can't, can't do this, man, because it's going to cost me. Uh, God said, go and do it anyway. This is going to dwell in this holy hill. You know? This is a, this is a teaser journey you sing that song, Sister Day. Walk with me, Lord, while I'm on this old teaser journey. Thank God. He's at the beginning of sorrow. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. You know, all them prophets that were prophesying about Trump. I heard several of them. Making Trump feel good. Making his father feel good. But <laughs> some, somebody wasn't telling the truth there. Amen. Somebody wasn't prophesying truth. Yes. Somebody was speaking stuff from their own heart. Yes. Yes. And see, they, they done deceived the people. Yes. And had the rest of them lying. Mm -hmm. Listen to what they said. They don't want to lie about that. But the Bible said, man, false prophecy and deceived many. And one thing about God, so that God said that number, if he said it, what? He's going to do it. If he spoken it, he's going to make it good. He's going to bring, if God, if whatever, one thing about God, if he say stuff, I don't care if it takes 10 years or 50 years, he's going to bring it to pass. One thing about, he said, my word ain't coming back to me, boy. It ain't going to fall to the ground. Everything I say, thank God, it's going to come to pass. So the false property made people Then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because of iniquity it shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because iniquity is in effect. Iniquity is still alive. Iniquity is abounding, Jesus said. But he, this is what I want to get to, but he that shall endure unto the end. I speak that a lot because I'm trying to get people. Sister, uh, there we're in a time that we just got to endure. Yeah. Uh, right on to the end. A lot of things don't go right for us. A lot of things look like it just ain't working out for us. But the Bible says if you endure. That's why we got to make up our mind, run, run. We got to endure. Yeah. It ain't how fast people run. How strong they are. It has nothing to do with it. A lot of people be running fast. I see people think I know people thank God that started out. They all oh, they look, I'm talking about experience. Start out in the church prophesying, seeing if he always got something to say that God said to show them. And let me tell you what. Now that they, they no longer walk with God. When you look at them back then, you thought they, man, gee, we're really living in them. Really, but you know what? Don't make no difference how fast y'all, how strong y'all. If you ain't got enough to hold on, you ain't got enough to do it. It's best, thank God, to have that little bit and hold on to that. Best to forget about all that prophecy and vision seeing and all this kind of stuff and just get a hold of Jesus and hold on to Jesus. Instead of all this other stuff that makes you look like you something. Man, I've seen a bunch of them. I said, Lord, thank you for helping me to hold on. I said, devil fought me on every hand, but you know what? I still ain't had that mind to quit. I had that mind to give up. He had walked with me. Lord, yeah. yeah. oh, thank you, Father. So the race ain't given to the swift and the battle ain't to the strong. The Bible said he didn't do it to the end. Listen. And niggas shall abound and love of men shall watch cold, but he that it shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Listen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world by a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end going to come. And the Bible says this gospel is going to be preached in all, a whole world. Everybody will get saved, but this gospel is going to be preached into all the world. 
Everybody don't get saved, but it's going to be preached according to the Bible here into all the world. And then shall the end come. But we got to have our mind made up, you know. I'm praying every day, God, just help me to hold on to you. I'm not claiming to be running so fast. I'm not claiming to be so strong, but God, just help me. I just pray, God, help me to be able if we can reach people, reach other people. God, help me do something for the ministry. Well, we can reach other people. You got some people out there that hear what I'm saying. Man, there be no high, high stuff and all this stuff, but God, you got some people that I know. I know, thank God, that, you know. That's got to open up the door some kind, make some kind of way. This is, he that didn't do it. You hear me preach about that a lot? He that didn't do it. I mean, encourage folks to hold on. Endure. Fight this good fight of faith. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't. Man, you may not be seeing vision. God may not give you to prophesy and all that kind of stuff, but hold on, endure right on to the end, the Bible says. Sister, sister, say what do you want to be? We won't do miracles, we want to be saved. Want to prophesy or do you want to be saved when Jesus comes? This is what it's all uh, 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 mount up to. It's being saved when Jesus comes back after us. It's being saved. All that other stuff ain't going to mean nothing. Ain't going to mean a thing. I don't care if you're ready to day for breakfast every morning. If you ain't saved, it ain't going to mean nothing. It ain't going to profit you nothing. Not a thing. What would popularity profit you? The Bible says, what would a man give? What would a man profit if he gained the whole world? What if we probably gained popularity and all this stuff and then our soul be lost? Ain't gained us nothing. Not one thing. To be well spoken of, to be well liked, it, ain't gained nothing if our soul be lost. Sister Dale, it's our soul we got to look out for. Soul. You know? Listen, Galatians 6, 79. Thank you, Lord. Listen. Hold on to Jesus. What am I speaking on today? Fight the fight to the end. This what I, this is what I topic this message. Fight until the end. We pray God help us to fight until the very end. Don't stop. Don't lose the fight. Yeah. Brother Clan, we just keep fighting. Whether you think you win or losing, you just keep fighting. Jesus told us, if you come to me, what? I ain't going to cast you. So if you, if you keep fighting. Fight right on to the end. Jesus said, you fight, thank God he helped you. He's because if you come to me, I ain't going to cast you out. So you still fight. I don't care what you hear about to say, fight on this. Galatians 6, verses 7 through 9. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Listen. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Listen. And let us what? Not be weary in well doing for in due season. He's going to reap if we don't faint. And let us not be weary and well done. Man, we're trying to preach to people. Don't be weary and well done. Don't get tired. If you get tired, don't give up. Don't quit because in due season. Look like it may not come in. So there look like it may be a long way off. But don't make no difference how far off it is. But in due season. In due season. Devil tried to show you run away. You missed out on this. And you missed out on that. That's okay. But you just don't want to, don't want to miss out on salvation. You remember I missed out on salvation. Then you're in trouble. The devil tried to show that. Don't go weary. Amen. The devil got weary trying to make the people weary now. Yes. Trying to get people weary. You know, because things ain't working out. I know how it, how it works. Trying to get people weary. They want to give up. Yes. Make them slack up. Mm -hmm. Make them start falling back. Amen. You got to be careful. I see. I ain't going to call no name, but I see. You know how the spirit just, uh, as the Lord help them, because that, that spirit is beginning to pull on them. I see it. And I don't know if they're aware of it or not. I began to pray. I said, God. Yes, Lord. Yes. The Bible says a little leaving leaving the whole lump. Yes. You get to play where that, little, that stuff started being all right for you. All right with you. It don't make no difference. You know. The 
Bible says, don't be weary. If you're fighting, don't be weary in fighting. If you're striving, don't get weary in striving. If you're denying yourself, don't get weary in that. Think, pray and ask God. Say, God, give me strength. Help me to hold on. I know that's a reward one day. That's all right. I my reward ain't down here. Jesus says he's coming back and he's going to bring what? His reward with him. So he's going to bring that reward with you. So we got to, we got to keep fighting, keep striving. Don't give up. Don't go weary. And well done. And, and Brother Clarence, this is spirit we got to fight against. Thank God. I, I mean, God got to help his messengers and his servant. Thank God to lift this word up, to lift it. Man, to try to encourage God people because that's a devil out there that fight against God. People want to make him quit, trying to discourage him. But God got to give us something to get the people uplifted, to get that faith. Keep them stirred. Keep them on a fight. That's the spirit out there. I know that they're fighting God's people. Trying to make us get tired. Yes, Lord. My daughter had me up there said, you, said, you all right up, up there? She said, she said, I know you don't probably get uh, along from my border. I said, yeah, but I just seek Jesus and ask God he helped me. Amen. I said, don't think that old boy spirit don't come. That old long spirit may come at you, but thank God God's the greatest he that is in you. Yes. And we got to believe that. Yes, we got to believe that we are, thank God we are more than conquered. We are well able. Yes. That's what I'm saying. That's fine. The Bible says, don't think it's strange concerning anything that the devil bring at you. You got to know who you're serving here to keep you. He said, I'll be with you. I'll. That's man, I'm fine. Yeah. So sometimes you think about, man, you by yourself. You know, it's just like, it's just there. And then the spirit is going to make you, you by yourself. And just, but let me tell you, so you ain't by yourself. Jesus, I'm going to smite the shepherd, the sheep going to scatter. I'm going to be left alone. He's but what? But I'm not alone. Yeah. But I'm not alone. Run, run, I'm not alone. I'd rather really have Jesus, John Knox, as the Queen of England told old John Knox. I mean, she spoke and said, I'd rather, rather have the prayers of John Knox than have, have all the army of England. So I'd rather really have the prayers of John Knox. If we get Jesus with us, the Bible says more than the world. And, and Brother Clarence, this is something we try to hammer because, to me, because that devil come, thank God, he'll fight against that spirit. He'll fight against that word. He'll fight against that word. That if, man, if God be for you more than the, he, he don't care about you quoting that scripture or, or saying it. He'll try to fight against that scripture. Try to make that scripture none effect. But he's alive. He is alive. But you can't see no hope. You believe in it anyway. Amen. You believe in it anyway. And I know it's an easy thing. I try to be real and face reality because I don't try to get people all hyped up and believe. Well, look, off that devil, he don't care nothing about you getting hyped up. Amen. David said, Lord, your word have I did what? Hid in my heart. Amen. And Brother Clarence, some kind, it don't make no difference how we look or how we look. If we hide this word in our heart, that we don't sin against God, that we are stable and get this word down in our heart. And I pray that I say, God, let this word be in my heart that I can. Because you know, sometimes that devil comes to overthrow you. Sometimes he comes to make you stumble. Don't he? He have, he have did it to me. You know, but God, listen. First Corinthians, after you have, yeah. Uh, and let it not be weary and well done for in due season we're going to reap, folks, if we don't faint. So, brother, are you talking about that kind of stuff? Yes, because that's the, man, that is the secret. Holding on, enduring. Yes, yes it is. Trials going to come. Test is going to come. Yes. Tribulation going to come. Persecution going to come. Discouragement going to come. But if, if we don't grow weary and go, going through these things, yes, Lord. the Bible says we're going to reap in due season, in due time. In due time. First Corinthians 15. 15 and 50. Just that one verse there. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'm trying to encourage you. They just fight until the end, folks. Fight until the end. The Bible said we walk by faith. If brother, all I don't see nothing out there. Don't care if you don't see nothing out there. Fight until the end. Now, I don't hear God talk to me. Fight until the end. Believe that he's there. I don't see God move for me. Fight on to the end anyway. Because in due season, folks. In due season. Man, we need this stuff. We need God to help our heart, help our spirit. Because, folks, so there, everybody fighting stuff. I don't care who they are. Amen. Whether they admit it or not. 
Don't have to admit it. God knows it. And if you don't get that raised up a standard, you know, we're in trouble. Listen, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 58. They just had one scripture. Well, let me read 57 too. But thank be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye what? Steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our labor is not in vain. The devil tell you this, but the Bible says, be steadfast. Oh, that little bit that you done, that ain't, that ain't worth nothing, man. Look at them people doing this and doing that. Look at it. Be steadfast. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Whatever you do for God, he's going to reward you for it. Yeah. Those things your labor is not in vain. Whatever you do for God, it's not in vain in the Lord. Be steadfast. Unmovable. I don't care what devil come up against you, fight against you. Stand your ground. Fight. You know, just don't give up. And, 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 and Brother Clarence, sometimes that's the easy thing. Saying it is easy. This is the easy part, saying it. But when you get down in that belly, it gets what? Better. When you get down while you start doing this stuff, oh, we say, man, love your neighbor as yourself. That's easily said down there. Do unto the other, they do unto you. It, it, it just, just flows out of your mouth like honey, like butter. Man, when you get down that belly while you actually have to uh, do on the other, you have to, man, that, look. So that flesh, that's right, especially that messed over you. And man, that flesh, that, that flesh starts to squealing and screaming because they don't want to do that. So this, this ain't the easiest thing, you know. But we can do it. Jesus, we, 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 we can do it and we're going to do it. Not that we can, we are going to do it. Thank God, so there, because we got the help of Jesus there. We got an advocate up there. We got the help of Jesus up there. That's how we're going to through through Him. We're going to bow say, "What man?" But thank be unto God, which giveth us the victory. What? Through, we, we're going to have victory through Jesus. We may not do this stuff ourselves, but through Jesus, God give us the victory, and we're going to do it. Revelation said He saw a number that no man can number came out came through great tribulation, robe and wash me white. I have no reason to doubt that I'm not in that number. Because down there we come through great tribulation. I tell you, come great through trials and stuff like that. But I have no reason to doubt that I'm not going to be in that number. Amen. You know? That's right. Amen. Yes, Lord. So therefore, be steadfast, yes, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord. Thank God. Lord, help us to be steadfast. Don't let, don't let that devil be you. Don't let, let that devil show you. Think of what you're doing don't mean nothing. You know? That's right. Whatever you do for God. Yes. Lord, he's not, we're not going to go unrewarded. Yes. You know? God ain't going to be a uh, run, run. Jesus will not be indebted to no man. In other words, Jesus ain't going to owe no man nothing. We will not be indebted to no man. We're going to be indebted to him. We are. And we will always will be. But one thing about Jesus, Jesus will not be, he's not going to owe no man anything. He's going to bless us. He's going to reward us. You know, what we do. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Whatever it is. You know. Listen. Matthew 24, verses 42. I'm going to read that. Then I'm going to read another script and I probably... Let you go. Thank God. We got to fight to the end, folks. Yes, I know a lot of discouragement spirit come your way. Mm. You know? Yes. Look at you. Look at yourself. Look where you at. <laughs> what you come? Just look at you. <laughs> they have good about showing us ourselves. Eh? <laughs> Won't you get disgusted in yourself? <laughs> So we'll get disgusted in our flesh. Because you just look at the flesh, the only thing you can do is get disgusted. But you know we'll be trusting in Jesus. We'll be looking to Jesus. 
And the Bible says down there that, that the devil served with the most subtle, most cunning, most crafty, most deceiving of all the beasts that God made. They were, they were most cunning, crafty, deceiving. So he's, he's good at that. So we just got to, we got to be determined. Got not give up. Oh, so there you be blessed of the Lord and the devil's showing you where you ain't. He'll deceive you so many things you ain't and boy, you can be highly favored with God, and, but you can't see it. And the devil blind it from your eyes because you may not have a mansion on the hill. You may not. Man, the blessed are the pure in heart. Yes. Blessed are they that mourn. Yes. He didn't say blessed are they that got a mansion on the hill. Blessed are they that ain't got no car note. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. We can't let the devil lie to us. Amen. We are blessed if we got a mind to serve God. Amen. Hold on to it. If we got a mind to fight. Yes. Down there we are blessed. We got a mind to fight. Although we do come up short. May, may mistake. But we got this mind to fight on anyway. You are blessed. We got a mind to fight. Clean to Jesus. I don't care how you look at your neighbor and see how they are prospering. How strong they are in God. Thank God. As long as you still. I said, God, I got a mind to hold to you. I got a mind to cleave to you. I'm not giving up. Yes. Man, you're blessed you got that mind. You can't go by other folk, like I said, they may not hold out until the end. You know? They may be doing all this stuff, man, their reward ain't big enough for them. So I did quit God. Lord, I did all this stuff, and I got to ride around this little old Chevrolet. <laughs> they may quit God and go another direction. You know? I mean, that song sounds good saying. In my dying hours, be with me, Lord. I, I, I said, you got to sell a song if you sung like that. And I, I thought, man, this guy turned and went to rock and roll or whatever this stuff, whatever kind of music they were, you know, making more money, popular. He didn't do it. They said them women used to, even when he starts out reading something, even when he was saying gospel, young popular guy, you know, nice looking handsome guy so them women may be screaming, man. You may almost break this stuff, trying to get in the way and him saying the gospel. He just popped and had that in the, and, and the kind of person that the women liked that, you know. They fought, and I guess he couldn't stand it. So he went, went over. Changed over. Don't saying that other stuff. And that's something when women be flocking at you, man, you saying the gospel, you know, that, that ain't just normal, is it? But that's what they were saying about him. He's that type of guy, you know. They had that smooth voice and stuff like that. But he didn't endure. So we can't go by that. It's he that endured. He that endured to the end. Listen. Matthew 24, verse 42 through 51. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do come at. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch... The thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is that faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made rule over his household to give them? Meet in due season. You know, the first time you turn away from God and stop God, and that devil hits you, you're going to be saying, oh, Lord, why did I? I should have, you're going to start remembering, God, I wish I had just stayed there. I wish I had. That devil ought to bring back to your mind, then thank God, why did I? Why, why, why didn't I just, you know, sometimes you may make mistakes. Oh, Lord, why did I make that mistake? Why did I? Yeah. But we don't want this devil, the devil's a, He's a trickster. Who did that faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. The my tell you, folks, fighting to the end. Blessed is he that servant. Blessed that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his good. Listen. But... And if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, that let this come, folk, we don't want that spirit to get hold of us. And we begin to say in our hearts, 
My Lord, the lathe is coming. And shall begin to smite his fellow servant and to eat and to drink with the drunkards. And we begin to think Jesus ain't coming back and begin to get back out there. Start hating our brother and sister, talking about Jerry getting out there and getting drunk with him. Yeah, you know, I got some of uh, I thought but I got some of uh, uh, that's grape juice and it looked like a champagne bottle. Somebody gave us all the bottle that stuff in the and she liked it, and she started buying it. I, I, it, it, I liked it. It tastes good. I was in a store there before Christmas. They had some out on the display, you know. So I bought me a, I made a couple of bottles of it. And I said, people see that thing, they think I got me some boob around here, but it's good. I got this home and the refrigerator, some of it. But it's good. I like it. It's non alcoholic. It's not alcoholic. But say, if, sister, if I get tired, man, go back to, oh, man, I go back to get the drink with my partners. They ain't get to talking like them and doing like them. Say, well, Jesus ain't coming back here now. He ain't finna come back. He's going to delay his coming. We got to be careful about that. That's why Jesus said for denying us. This is a self-denying way. I don't care who say what. This is a self-denying way. And it ain't always laughing and jolly. Thank God there's some tears be shed. There's some mourning. Thank God there's some weeping. There's some begging God through this way. God, help me, because sometimes that devil says it's like, I'll be pulling at you, and you guys say, Jesus, help me. Have mercy upon me, this devil is pulling at me, this devil trying to get me. And he would help you. Man, I hope you all that are listening, you tune in. I pray you hear this, because you don't want to go back. And that's why I was speaking a while ago. I see this in the video. I see they just... Uh, Man, I see that in the world. And I can't say stuff I want to say because everybody know. Amen. So, but I can't say it. And I don't want to say nothing to discourage, discourage people, you know. Yes, Lord. Even at the end of the video, I don't want to say nothing to discourage them. Maybe they can hold on to the little they just got. Yes. And maybe somewhere. Mm. They want to start dropping names. He said, if he started to, start to smite his fellow servant and started drinking with them, started getting drunk, you know? <laughs> and she began to smite his fellow servant mm -hmm. and to eat and drink with the drunkards. Then shall, you know what that spirit is out there, folks? Yes, it is. We've been hearing that God's, uh, Jesus on the way back in. And, you know, in one scripture and piece of man, where has his promise is coming? Mm -hmm. We've been hearing this stuff, man, ever since the world began. Yeah. And sometimes that spirit gets holy out there. But you don't want to get caught up in that stuff. Mm -hmm. Listen. Then the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looking not for him. And in an hour that he is not aware of. And she'll cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Bible says he's going to come back in a day when we're not looking for him. Fight to the end. I don't care such day you be talking about. Somebody said, what does brother talk about me? No, I ain't talking about it. Don't even think there's nobody in here. Matter of fact, there's nobody that goes to this church. There's somebody I know and they that the that I, I, I get that off your mind. <laughs> but begin, begin to get out there and, and do stuff. Say stuff. Sometimes it's just like we get tired of fighting, but we don't need to get tired. You get tired of fighting. I say, you may get tired, but just don't stop fighting anyway. Right. Yes. Ask God to give you that second, third win, whatever you need. God, give me that second, third, fourth win. Yes. What do I need? Just help me continue to fight. You know? And don't look at our stumbling. Don't look at our shortcomings. Just keep fighting. Keep reaching out to Jesus. Listen to this last verse here. This last scripture. Nahum 1. Thank you, Frank. And we got to fight until, got to fight until the end, folks. Find 
Yeah, don't get me reading me. You need to find this good for yourself. <laughs> It's somewhere between Genesis and Revelation. Did <laughs> 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 you yeah, have that scripture? With, I think it's 40 to 40 to 5. I think it's 40 to 5. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get it. I, I, yeah, 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 no, I, 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 I'm good. Yeah, he said, uh, he said, no. He said between Genesis and Revelation somewhere. So he's in there. Give me a minute. I, I, I can get through. Just give me a, a second here. I have it. I'm getting close. Just like you hear me? I'm getting close. Thank God, boy. We got We got to fight. We got to fight. We got to fight. Right on to the end. Yes. Right on to the end. Thank you. Nahum 1, verses 1 through 7. This is just a verse I want to get to down here. The burden of Nineveh. The book of the vision of Nahum. The ark God is jealous and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his what? On his adversaries. And he reserves wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all quit the wicked. The Lord has his way in the whirlwinds and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuked the sea and make it, it dry, and dried up all rivers. Basham languish, and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languish. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? The Bible says, who's going to stand? It's coming. The day is coming. That's why I tell you folks, keep fighting. Yes. Fight that good, fight the faith. Who can stand before his indignation? Listen. And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire. And the rocks are what? Thrown down by him. God threw rocks out of heaven. Upon this enemy. Listen. Listen to this. The Lord is good. What? A strong, a strong what? In the day of trouble. And he knows what? Them that trust him. God know them that trust him. I tell you, fight. Just fight to the end. Because the Lord is a stronghold in the day of trouble. How many know we're in the day of trouble? He's our only stronghold. He's our only help. Yes. And he know them that trust. God, help me to trust you. Teach me to trust you. Teach me how to trust you. I'm trying to trust you. So today I be asking God to teach me in everything. Teach me how to trust you. Yes. Teach me how to believe you as I'm trying. This is my desire, but you teach me how to do this thing right. If I'm doing it wrong, teach me how to do this thing right. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's right, Don. I just got to teach me how to do this thing right. I mean it, but I may be doing it wrong. He tells us, acknowledging what in all our ways, he'll do what? He'll direct our path. That's God, I'm trying to do this thing right. Help me to do it right. You know. The Bible says, man, he's thought so high than I, his ways. So since there, we got to acknowledge him every day. Every day. You know, if we have to go along a day, Brother Clarence, having to mess up somewhere, something like that, we'll acknowledge him. God, you direct me, help me. 
And he'll help us out. He'll help us out. Holy Father, thank you. God, help us to fight until the end. Put that in every man, every woman. That they'll just continue to fight. God, make no difference where they're at. What we're trying to, what we mean is about souls. What we mean is about peoples. Which is all our rightness that's filled the rags. Yes. We got different translations on that, on that verse of scripture that God, but so help us. Help us to keep Father, just help us to keep confessing and cleaving to you. Know? Yes, Even in the midst of our shortcomings. Help us to get at them. Lord, I know you're the only way. You're the only hope. God, I'm telling people, keep their eyes upon you, God. I, you said there's none righteous. No, not one, God. I, I'm not people to go ahead and do that which ain't righteous, but you let them know, Lord, that all our rightness has filled the rain. We're all in sin. So God, help us to keep our eyes on you. Help us to keep calling out you, looking to you, teaching us how to trust you, Jesus, because you said you was a man of compassion. But you said you know them that trust in you. That, Lord, that you was a, a stronghold in the day of trouble. God, be our stronghold. I'm asking that you keep us shielded and protected. In the name of, in this old hour we're living in right now, God, you know, all this stuff out here in this nation, on the land. Keep us, Lord. Be that strong. Can't nothing preserve us and protect us but you, and Father. And I thank you. Praise. Give me a hand, pray for you. And we can't nothing keep us but Jesus. That's our only, that's our only help. It's Jesus, and I believe that. I, I tell him that all the time, God. I, I appreciate what you do, what you've done for us and all that, but I, you are only here. We're going to receive an offering. Those of you who have an offering today, we'd, we'd appreciate it. Amen. And uh, we'd appreciate it. And I just keep this. Thank you, Father. Don't have nothing. Don't be stressed out. There's one thing about me. I don't stress people out about money. Amen. Never have. And I pray God never allow me to. Yeah. I know this one, one fellow told, told the people, y'all don't give me a hundred off. I'm out. Appreciate it. He said, God going to kill you. <laughs> That's, now, you need to know. You shouldn't be saying that stuff to people. God ain't finna kill nobody because they won't give you no hundred dollars. You know? That's what they say. God's going to kill you if you don't give me, God said he's going to kill you if you don't give me a hundred dollars. I should be now, I said, bye-bye. <laughs> God ain't finna kill me. Like old robbers. Like old robbers. We sit sitting up there preaching up in that building, talking about God, when I told people, God said, if y'all don't, uh, Give me this money to help build this tower, you know, the city of faith. I said, God, he's going to take me on. I said, man, that don't make sense. Why would God take you on because they don't give? You know, if anybody take them on. I, I, I said, now he, and, and they, they gave money for that. Run, run. That city of faith out there in Oklahoma. I worked the doorway elevator. We built $8 million worth of elevators alone for that city of faith out there in Oklahoma. Eight million dollars worth of elevator. That's how much we built for elevator. Not not for the city of faith, that the hospital and all that stuff we built out there. And God spoke and said, "So say you may remember God spoke to Linda. It ain't gonna work because I didn't tell him to do it." Amen. God said, it "Ain't gonna work because I didn't tell him to do that." And you better believe me, man. They had shut that thing down. That thing closed out. I don't know what they did with the building, but it, it just went for a while. But it all fell apart. And all them millions and millions of dollars he put in that. So he said to them, but God told me he's going to take me on if y'all don't get this money together if I can build this. They call it the city of faith. 
He said, he get the, God gave him that. He's going to get the best of doctors and all that stuff in there and put him in that hospital out there. And God said, it ain't going to work because I didn't tell him to do it. And you better believe it shut down, closed up. I don't know what they're doing with the building out there, but it just lasts for a while. But until God tell you something, it, it, you know, God don't tell you stuff, you can't, you can't bet on it. Can't better. If you do something, do something. God's got out. I want to do it for you. You help me. But don't get him to you punch your hand. Father, thank you for this offering. We appreciate it. Lord, bless the God help us. Will you please help us to hear your voice? God, if we can't hear your voice, just don't let us say anything. Yes, I pray that that don't make us no less a Christian. That don't make us no less of being with you. God, remember these. Bless this offering. It. But they're giving it. They sanctify it. Lord, let it be you for your glory. Somewhere I'm asking you, Lord, to direct me and lead me. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Praise God. Give him a hand and pray. We appreciate everybody. We're going to give it a let you be dismissed. We appreciate your prayers. All of you that are, that are, see, make no difference who you, who you think you are in God. If God don't tell you stuff, Pete may have. Oh, they were all, they were all excited to say about Trump. I saw some of them prophesying. They were so excited, they were stirred up about Trump getting re-elections. One of them jumped up and said that God going give to him, give him four more years before we have four more years of grace. God going to put Trump in another four years before we have four more years of grace. Now, God didn't tell them that, you know. And I wonder what they're doing now. I think oh, that old uh, the, the lady name, it, I think she's a man. Joyce Meyer. No, she said too. Paula White said that stuff to Joyce Meyer. I think she, I get there and got quiet somewhere. Not even. I guess God didn't tell me. I can't realize that. I know this. They, they told this guy. He said that his granddaddy was a pastor. Preacher. Great granddaddy preacher. Granddaddy preacher. Dad was a preacher. God called Moses. He said that God called, called him. Called him to be a preacher. He said, then God called back and told me he had the wrong number. He said, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> told me he had the wrong number. <laughs> well, he's just going to be preached because his granddad and all that. <laughs> God told me no, he had the wrong number. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Give him a hand, pray. We're going to have you stand. We're going to let you be dismissed. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate your prayers. Stand to your feet. We're going to let you be dismissed. This week, get all your needs up before God. And you know, let's keep one up. Father, thank you today. And I appreciate you for. Appreciate you, Father, for this day, for this series. God, appreciate you for being God. But I can't express it, but I really appreciate you. And I pray, God, you look into my heart and know my heart. Look into these hearts. Know their hearts. God, sometimes that flesh may go in a different direction, but. Jesus, I pray. Oh, as you look into each one of our hearts and help us and help us through every trial, through every test. Give us strength to hold on. Give us strength to endure. Everything that's out there, God, that you permit us to go through, give us strength to go through it. For Paul told us, Lord, we can do all things through you. Help us to cleave to that, Lord, even if we don't understand it. Even if things look like it's dark to us, help us to just Give us the strength to hold on to you. Give us the mind. Oh, and I'll be ever thankful to you for it. But go with these. Look on their family. Bless their families. God, their loved ones, their grandkids, kids, and some companions. God, I'm asking you. Lord, if you would. Lord, let our prayer be fervent. Let it be effectual. You said they means a lot. And I'm asking you, Jesus, to be with them, go with them. Bless those. Some having to work public jobs. Be with them, Father. Keep them shielded and protected. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for it. Go with us today as we leave this place. Lord, sanctify our passage. Let it be paid with your blood. Bind that devil and keep him on the side of the road. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Can see yourself dismissed. Appreciate everybody.